everybody. Well, this is Melissa from Buckeye Girls Reason Things. Welcome to National Apple Day. Or Happy Apple Day. Because I'll tell you a secret. For many generations in my family, we've all had orchards. And as soon as we bought our property in the country, the first thing I did is start my own orchard. So this is right up my alley, National Apple Day. Uh, I am gonna be doing two recipes. One is my grandmother's apple dumplings and the other one is a chicken apple salad that's one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy. Okay, this is grandma's apple dumplings. We're gonna start out with the crust, which she made her crust a little different. She used two cups of flour, and then most people use shortening, but she used Two cups of butter. No, it was a half cup of butter. I looked at it wrong. She used a half a cup of butter and two-thirds cup of ice-cold milk. So I'm getting it right out of the refrigerator. Glad I double-checked that. I would have messed this up. This is a third cup, so I'm going to do two-thirds of ice-cold milk. And then... powder. She used one teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm going to use this was hers so it's fun to use her recipe and be able to use a tool that was hers do you have a fun tool that you use that was your grandmother's or maybe even a recipe if you do let me know about it if you have a fun tradition or fun thing you do for National Apple Day also let me know about it I want to get to know my my community and it's always fun to get to know other people's traditions and other people's things that they do for Apple Day and for the fall I will be back I have to get my cutting board and my rolling pin so we can make our apple dumplings okay here is our dough I'll just set the bowl out of our way. I'm going to add flour to my cutting board. I'm going to just roll it around a little bit in the flour. Here's my rolling pin. It's just a walnut hand. It's a, actually a walnut handmade rolling pin. Since I'm a handmade crafter, me and my husband are both handmade crafters, I also like to buy from other handmade crafters. And this is one of the things I've bought from 
a, an artist. I'm gonna just roll this out. Just like you would pie dough. The biggest thing is not to overwork it. You want to roll in one direction and then roll in the other to get it nice and flattened out. Then I'll just take one of my knives and that's not a very good one. Oops. Now I'm dropping things. I'm going to cut straight across, then I'm going to start cutting triangles. And that one's going to be gone. Okay, we'll be back with some apples. Hey everybody, we're back. We have our apples peeled, and I'll show you a little gadget that I use to core my apples. See? Presto cord. Then I just have to make sure it did it well. Every now and then it leaves some behind. So you got to double check it. But it makes it a lot faster. And then I just, okay, there's a piece that it didn't. See, it didn't take all the core out. So I'll add two pieces into each square, but I gotta make sure that all the rind and all the core are out. See, there's one that it missed. Let's see. My mom used to say she always liked to save the core, the ones with the cores in for dad. Guess I could say the same thing for my husband, Dan. Honey, I saved the cores for you. He always says that I I give him the I give him the cherry seed whenever I make cherry pie. It's like yeah, yeah, honey. Okay. And now some of you have have this this down better than me cuz you just do like like you do a diaper. You fold it over. Then you fold it up. And you pinch it. This one here didn't get to be in a triangle, but you just pull it over. And they don't have to look perfect. These are just going to be for me and my husband. If you want them to look, look more professional, you can be a little bit more than I am. I'll be back, get these in the pan. 
and then we'll be back to make the sauce. Okay, now let's make the yum, yummy caramel topping. I'm gonna start off with a cup of water. One teaspoon of butter. and a third of brown sugar. I'm emptying my brown sugar container. Then we'll give this a stir. When this melts, we'll just pour this over our apples that we have in the pan. I'm gonna pre while I'm waiting for the butter to melt, I'm gonna preheat my oven at 350 because these goes in for 30 to 40 minutes. To me, this is this the car this this caramel sauce here is what makes the apples dumpling so good. And if you like, you could chop some pecans up in and throw in the this. I do maybe a half a cup to put on the top of your your apple dumplings if you like. And then you just take your apples that you have in your pan and pour it over the apples. And then you pop this in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And at 30, what I do at 30 minutes, I check it and if it's nice and golden brown and they look done, I take them out. If they don't look quite ready, they're not brown and brown, then I don't take them out. Thank you for watching and happy Apple Day to everyone. Okay, here's our bowl, and we're going to start off with one apple, of course. Got to start with the main character, and 
two stalks of celery chopped. You can either use, you can either use two green onions or just a half a cup of chopped onions. And I didn't have green onions, so chopped onions it is. And one cup of grapes, and my grapes was huge. So I had to chop them not just in half, but in quarters. I think it, it'll be better. And you can either use walnuts, almonds, or pecans. And this is a half a cup. So it's basically the nut of your choice, or the lack thereof if you're allergic to them. And then from there, we're going to do a teaspoon of honey, two teaspoons of honey, as soon as I get the honey open. Oh honey, you're hard to get open. another spoon to scrape that out. It'll be just easier. And I'm going on, I'll go back and do that one. I'm going to let it drip down. This is two tablespoons of mayonnaise. is a Greek yogurt. It's next. And of course my husband, he knows I like this recipe so he bought the huge thing. So I'm going to just guess. So that's four ounces. You can always buy a small container. It'll make it easier. Then a fourth of a cup of sour cream. Then you can't forget uh, the other star of the show, which is the chicken. One pound of chicken. You can get, use use uh leftover rotisserie chicken from dinner last night you can use a couple chicken breasts whatever you have on hand or you can cheat a little it's okay to cheat a little my husband drives truck you know and and i'm home alone a lot so this is one of my cheats. I just use a can of chicken breast. Cause it's okay to cheat a little. This is just a canned chicken breast from Costco. And I drain the juice off of it. Just as long as you have about basically two about two pounds of chicken or so, it's okay to cheat a little. And everybody knows I would rather have the apples and the and the 
scrapes and stuff as the chicken anyway. And then I'll go back and see if I can get the last teaspoon of honey out of here. If you're going to have this setting any length of time, which this isn't, this is going to be my lunch. Uh, you can add a half a lemon, the juice of a half of a lemon. And if you'd like, you can also add a half a cup of cranberries. But I didn't have them, so you know me. I like to use what's on hand, what I have in the pantry, when I can. And this is our apple salad. You can put this on crescents. You can put this on wraps. I like to put it on wraps. Or you can use just put it on a bed of sal lettuce, lettuce salad. Whatever you choose. It's a nice pick. Uh, we, I always enjoy to take this to work. Uh, my husband, he likes it when I send it to, with him in wraps to work. But it's a quick, easy little salad. It's a nice go-to for apples. Thank you. I'll be back and make you some delicious um, apple dumplings. That was my grandmother's recipe. And you know grandma's recipes are always the best.